good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you are tuning in. This is Unapologetically Me featuring me. No special guest, just me. And you know me. (laughs) I like to talk. I like to get things off my chest. I like to be transparent with what I'm thinking and feeling with you guys. And I just want to start this video out by saying this. It can be extremely time consuming to weed through all of the rumors within the Nicola Bully case. Much of what's been reported on in social media is entirely speculation. Even what we've heard from police seems to just have been speculation and opinion. When watching someone's channel, you're hearing the opinion of the creator behind that channel. I have seen so many comments on my videos about things that are being confirmed by other channels. And I'm sitting here like, what do you mean this creator confirmed this? People are speaking as if they're hearing these things and they're facts, right? One channel in particular is who I hear the most factual (laughs) information from. And I say that very loosely with quotations. I'm like putting my fingers up in quotes factual information because it's not these certain things they're not factual they are this person's opinion and i'm not going to name any names i'm not trying to start drama in my opinion that's not the way to investigate it's also not the way to report on an investigation or on true crime cases we as creators in the true crime community i feel need to be very careful how we present information to the public Verifying facts and being sure not to say things are facts when they're really just our opinions. And to be very clear that certain things are just our opinion. It can be very easy to mislead people. Certain people in particular will just believe anything a certain creator will say because they really like that creator. And that helps no one. Unfortunately, I feel some people have heard things that fit their theory and they deliver them as facts to prove their narrative is factual. The truth is, none of us know what really happened to Nicola Bully. And if we really want to figure out what happened to her, then keeping an open mind and researching information before just putting it out there for all to see should be our main priority as creators. It seems to be a race to be first for a lot of people. And accuracy is just an afterthought. Let me give an example. And I don't know, things always sound much better in my mind than when I try to put them into words, but I'm going to try anyway. Looking into addresses and uh, financial records that are available to the public and finding a connection between a business with a home, um, with actual names on those businesses connected to properties owned by people that say that they don't know each other is factual. And this is coming from a public property record in legal documentation. That's a fact. If I go on to another creator's channel and they say there's someone with the same last name as Paul who's a Freemason and uh, Freemasons appear to be prevalent in that area. So it's clear to me that Paul's also a Mason and everybody knows that the Freemasons are horrible, evil people. So they must have had something to do with this. That's not a fact and it should be delivered as an opinion when addressing the public. It is a fact that there is someone with Paul's last name who is on the Mason list in the UK. Yes, that's a fact. But is Paul a free Mason? If so, where is the proof? Where is his name on the list? It's not a fact. Those are rumors. That is speculation. Do you see what I mean? Do you see the difference? There are all sorts of rumors going around right now, and I believe that we need to be very careful what we repeat because there are people that are taking what we say as facts. And I know that some creators actually have that intent. They are so sure in their theory that to them, it is a fact. And these rumors are so juicy that people just eat them up, showing you records may not be very juicy. It may even be boring to look at numbers, but a legal document is a fact. It's not a juicy fact and it may seem small, but it's actually a really big deal. These documents prove 
that people who claimed that they did not know each other knew each other. It doesn't fill in the why or how, but it does prove that we have been lied to. Did the police tell certain people to lie about whether or not they knew Nicola and Paul? Or did these people tell police that they didn't know Nicola or Paul on their own to protect themselves for some reason? Reaching in a true crime case is a very invaluable tactic. Yes, you're going to get more views, but you're spreading rumors that you don't know are factual. And you're not telling people that. When I'm going through a theory that I have, I present facts and then I say my opinion and I make sure to reiterate throughout the entire video, it probably gets really annoying. And when I'm commenting in the comment section as well, that it's my opinion. I don't know. It's just something I wanted to address because I've seen a lot of comments in the comment section about things that are rumors. They are not true. I have personally looked into them and I can say that they are in fact a rumor that started from people that have nothing to do with the case. It may be hard to believe that there are people out there that do things like this, but in the almost two years that I've been doing this, I've seen so much in so many cases of this exact thing. People linking each other together in social media, creating false accounts, claiming to be that person and then following people. It's something that unfortunately happens with every single high profile case. Just ask yourself this, okay? If you're like, shut up girl, that's bullshit. Nobody would ever do that. Just ask yourself this. Could you right now go on a Facebook group or Twitter or any other social media platform and make something up about this case that actually makes sense with some of the theories that are going around and expect to see someone make a video about it? Yes, no. What about leaving a comment on someone's video? Whatever method you choose, if you were to do that, I guarantee you would get attention. People would believe it. Not everybody, but there are people who would believe it and they will spread it like wildfire. And people will be picking it up and certain people are going to research it, like me. I'm going to research you, the person that posted it, to see if you have any connections. I'm going to research you on a search. So yeah, you're going to get attention even from me. But I will not go and make a video about it. And I will not repeat what you say if I can't prove that it's likely a legitimate thing. That's me. But what about the channels that want to be first? I've talked about the race to be first, not accurate. In the race to be first, there are creators that are going to see that type of comment or post, and they are going to right away make a video about it as if it's a fact. They are not gonna tell their viewers that they haven't had a chance yet to fact check it because they want it to be first. They're gonna say something along the lines of, now we have proof because so-and-so says that they saw A, B, and C. And that makes complete sense with what I've been saying this whole time. So what I'm saying has to be true. It has to be a fact because this comment backs it up. Now we have proof. So I have proven it to you that my theory is the correct theory. That's what it's gonna sound like. Know anyone like that? And then, all of a sudden, like wildfire, this rumor has now become a fact. And because it's viewed as legitimate information, it keeps people from looking into other avenues, other possibilities that actually could be factual. Now, one thing I will guarantee you as a creator, I will most likely never be first. You will most likely not get breaking news from me. That's not me putting myself down. That's me being a realist because when I hear information, I make sure that it's true or that it's helpful before making a video declaring it. I can guarantee you that if I have not fact checked something, I will tell you that I have not fact checked it. I will tell you this came up while I was editing and I haven't had a chance to really look into it yet. So I don't know if it's true or not, but I did want to let you guys know that I am aware of it. And if there's more to it, I'll make a video about it. And that's simply just to let viewers know that they don't necessarily need to comment that information to me because it's something that I've already heard and it's something that I will look into. And if I find that it's something worth sharing publicly, then I will. 
but I'm not just gonna make a video to make a video. My time and your time is far too valuable for that and people's lives are involved. So, okay, end rant.